Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. Today I want to give you a sort of crash course on building a WordPress website for selling an ebook. And this is a real world live example of uh, an ebook that I just built and uh, am now selling through a WordPress website. And I'm just going to go through really quick and just give you all of the action items that I use, some of the theoretical stuff. Uh, on marketing and, uh, you know, the branding kind of thing. So let's just go right into this. I've done plenty of videos before, but this theme is the Baton Pro theme. I've done a, well, number one, this is the theme that I uh, develop over at my my company. And so, I'm, of course, I'm using it here. So, of course, I'm a little bit biased on that regard. You can use any uh, theme that you want with the stuff that I'm going to show you today. Uh, some of this marketing stuff can also apply to that given uh, whatever theme you're using. But how I built the homepage is one main call to action uh, that is sort of going to give people the idea of what this uh, what this book is all about and uh, sort of a call to action to go and buy the book right away in the nice big hero area. So that's what I did up here. Uh, and I'll just go and open up the front page sidebar. So because the Baton theme uses our note plugin, it's just five widgets that I use to build the homepage and we'll dive right in. Hero Area, the book that catapults you into podcasting like a pro. Again, emphasizing what this book is all about and what the result is going to be. By the end of the time you read this book, you'll be a pro podcaster with a call to action link that goes right to the buy page. I'm not going to click that yet. I'm going to show you how I built that page in a little bit. Then I have the secondary um, supplemental hero section, which just gives you a little bit more uh, depth to the book, shows the book cover. And again, another call to action that links out to the buy page. If you had different features that you were trying to showcase with your ebook, um, you know, if you found it important that people went to your about page to learn a little bit more about you, um, that's cool too. For me, we just launched, I want to make sure that all of these links are then feeding over to the buy page because this website doesn't have a whole bunch of content. Um, who is this book for, right? So I sort of set the stage of what the result is in the beginning at the top of the website. It is going to catapult you to becoming a uh, pro podcaster. I sort of supplement it again by showing you the image of the book and giving you some depth to the book or context to the book. And now I'm saying, who is this book for? Uh, hopefully it's for the person who's looking at this website. And I put them into three categories, either freelancers, uh, great for somebody who wants to just find a way to create more leads through podcasting, business owners. So if you want to talk about your products or your process, uh, great for business owners. And for creators, people who just enjoy doing like podcasting stuff or creating content, um, I would really put them into these three channels. This block sort of uh, helps me target my uh, my my best audience or the audience that I'm sort of uh, guessing at that, that I think would be the best. I've got a ton of videos in this channel that we talk about sort of the um, audience creation process and how do you identify uh, your best audience. But that's what I use this block for. Then I have uh, this note widget, which again, a lot of the stuff you can do with my free version of, of Baton. This version is in Baton Pro, but this sort of uh, clever hero area um, or the design of it anyway with like sort of like this diagonal uh, cut to it with an overlay is only available in Baton Pro. But I use this block as the free training um, or the free email capture. And again, I'm using an image from Unsplash and I'm just using these stock images from Unsplash to pull these um, nice little like microphone slash podcasty kind of images in. And I say free video training. You can sign up here and get that, watch the videos. I connect this to my drip uh, email marketing automation platform. That is not a free uh, platform. It's 40 bucks a month. Um, I use it for a bunch of other sites, uh, but you could actually put this to your MailChimp account. You could have somebody, you know, you could redirect this link to like a form that somebody fills out. And it just, as soon as they submit that, um, it gives them whatever free material. And for my, for my purpose, for my context of this website, it links up to the drip email marketing automation. Um, it captures the email and then it emails them out the two free videos that we've, uh, that we've created for this course. And then last but not least, just another sort of, you know, supplemental image that's, you know, shows you what uh, the interior of the book looks like. The chapter sort of covers the table of contents and how the content is laid out. It's a question and answer book. So it's, uh, you know, present the question and then uh, it's me and my co-author. We sort of answer those throughout uh, 85 pages of the book. So that's how I set up the, the homepage. So, you know, use that in whatever context uh, of your theme. Again, it doesn't have to look like this. I'm not saying that the design have to, has to look like this. I'm not saying you have to use this particular theme, 
but the elements of creating that landing page um, is what I would think about. Uh, I have this quotes page. Whoops, I skipped a page. Sorry, let me go to the authors. <clears throat> Uh, the author's page, again, uh, about page, author's page, more information about this book, that kind of thing. This is just the standard page uh, with the two guys that uh, authored it, myself and Joe. Uh, you know, the main thing here is if you're going to use an interior page, you know, always sort of think about having uh, in the sidebar a call to action. In this example, it is uh, the ebook. And if you click that link, it'll bring you to the buy page, right? So very straightforward, uh, very sort of standard content page. Let's move over to the quotes page. Um, this one is a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more meat to it, has a little bit more of a marketing sort of buzz to it. So let me break it down for you. Um, and actually, I think what I'm going to do is make this a full width page while we uh, make, while we uh, chat about it here. So a few things going on. I'm using uh, Jetpack Carousel and it's actually better served if I get out of the customizer. Uh, Jetpack Carousel and uh, Jetpack galleries or WordPress galleries uh, to create this page. So this is what it looks like on the front end. Uh, I've went ahead and I made eight sort of little shareable images through canva.com, which is a free website um, editing, or excuse me, a free image editing uh, service. So I've created like these nice little templated sort of quotes from the book. Um, and it sort of just says like, you know, uh, I'm all about the PR40, which is this microphone right here. And it says, what mic do I get? That's chapter two. And I wrote that. And then you can get the podcast or starter kit uh, at www.podcast.win. I'm going to use these sort of share through uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing. But the idea is you can come to this page and you can kind of see all these nice little quotes and they all have these, you know, again, unsplash images, free images that I created. It took me about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes to sort of just put these all together. And I'm sharing that in a gallery using WordPress gallery and Jetpack Carousel. So when I click on these, that's what I was trying to show you, is I can kind of scroll through them, right? And this is the Jetpack Carousel feature using WordPress galleries, okay? I'm using a new plugin today. Uh, well, today, it's my first time using it. It's called the Social Warfare plugin. I'm not too keen on the name. <laughs> it sounds fairly aggressive. Uh, but you can go ahead and customize these share links to put at the top of you know any page or post. I just particularly put them here because I think this is the most shareable page. And I just don't like having share buttons on every single page or like floating on the home page. It drives me nuts. Uh, I know a lot of people do. I don't like to do that. And nobody hits a home page and is like, oh, it's a great home page. I'm going to share this. Um, I don't think that ever happens. They will if they see some rich media like this and they want to share that out, that kind of thing. Um, so that's cool. They can share this page, but they can also do these click to tweet things. These are quotes that we got from people who reviewed the book before we uh, shipped it. And this plugin will also create this these click to tweet links, which I think is really cool. And they got some nice themes to them. So it looks a little bit more uh, stylish and it sort of matches the look and feel of our overall website. Um, so that's pretty cool. Social warfare uh, plugin. And I'm going to go in the back end before we wrap up just to kind of look at all of these things real quick. Again, moving at a pretty good clip because I just want to get everything in in a nice condensed video. We move over to the buy it page uh, I'm using easy digital downloads. Uh, to sell and deliver the book. So somebody comes to this uh, buy it page, um, they click on buy it and they can buy it, right? And right now we have it working through PayPal only. Um, eventually we'll hook it up from through Stripe so that it um, uh, people can just pay for it with a credit card uh, right, on, right on the site. But there's one thing I want to show and I'm going to show you and give you the reason why I spent some time sort of crafting a buy page. So if we go to... And we literally launched this book probably two hours ago. I have uh, no sales so far. If you want to get into selling a podcast or creating a podcast, uh, check out our book. It would really help us uh, uh, support the efforts that we have going on here. When you create a easy digital download, and I will show it by hitting edit, you name your product, and you could come in and you could put in all of your content here. It's you know a, very similar to any other page or post in WordPress. And you know, and you would normally set, you know, your featured image, which is the book cover, and then uh, the, you know, any content you want. The problem is it's it's kind of a boring look and feel. And and I would actually disable social warfare on such a small content area like this. Um, but you could see that, you know, it just pulls in the featured image. It looks very much like a post. All of my content would be here. And then I have this sort of $24.95 purchase link at the bottom. To me, that's just sort of lacking versus when I go to the my buy it page here, 
I have the book off to the left. I have some quotes. I have a you know money back guarantee logo. I have two links. I have a buy it link at the top and the bottom, um, and there's some more supporting featured images. So it just looks a lot better um, in my in my term. It's not as sort of plain as this, and the purchase buttons really stick out uh, with some sales emphasis emphasis around that. So how did I do that? Um, that's the why I did it. Let me show you how I did that. So the purchase link is a, can be a custom link. So I can grab this link and I can throw this in a short code and put it anywhere. And that's, uh, you know, and that's great. You could do that uh, and, you know, create your own sort of page layout and then just put this link in anywhere and that would work. Uh, but you can also get a custom link and paste it into uh, a link here. Like, so when I click this, it's going to automatically take me to my checkout page not just put it in a shopping cart, okay? So let's go back and take a look at this um, This here. I built this page with Beaver Builder. So, uh, and, the, and the reasons being because one, I wanted to have uh, some finite control over these columns and then the buttons within them. So let's take a look at that. There's a lot here. Uh, go ahead and ask questions in the comments below. So you can see as I hover all these sections here, these are all the elements that I created with Beaver Builder. Again, if I just click this, I'm going to go fairly fast. This is just a, a, an image, a media file, and that's what uh, loads the book cover there. And I created two columns, uh, one on this side, one on this side, and this will hold my button. And when I click on this button, you can see here that, you know, I can do things like I can I can change the label right here. It says buy at $24.95. Uh, I could change the shopping cart. I could remove it if I didn't want to. Um, I can do all kinds of things right like that, but this is the important part. This is the link, and you can get this with easy digital downloads, and that'll uh, just link it right to the right to the checkout page, like I told you before. And then I can come and I can style this button if I wanted to. So if I wanted the text to be white uh, or a different color, I could just change it up like that, and that will change. You know, it's going to be some god awful green, um, but you can go ahead and play with the different sort of layouts, the different background colors of the button. I can change the style of the button in terms of like rounded corners. So if I wanted like really rounded corners, I could do something like that. It really gives you that sort of granular flexibility. Uh, I'm not going to save that. And um, yeah, that's the reason why I built this using Beaver Builder. Just wanted to add some more depth to the product page um, and give it a little bit of a, a more sort of professional uh, look and feel. Again, I don't consider myself a designer by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just trying to look at uh, what I think would look uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. So I'm going to hit done on this because I don't want to make any changes. If this is the first time you've ever seen Beaver Builder, I got a bunch of other videos covering Beaver Builder. Um, if you have any questions to that, it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, it's going to spend some time sort of doing the layout, but it allows you to just get this flexibility. Uh, the last part, and you might have noticed when I went to the um, the checkout page, you can see there's no uh, there's no header, there's no navigation, there's no footer. So when people are here, the idea here is I just want them to see the checkout. I don't want them to be distracted with other items. Now, to another sort of um, like conversion, like if you're into conversions and really maximizing conversions, I could have done like another column here and sort of reiterated the testimonials and um, the money back guarantee. I might end up doing that anyway, um, but just to sort of reemphasize that this is a trusted, secure transaction, um, I could I could add some of that meat here, but for, the, for where we're at with the product cycle right now, I wanted it to be distraction free. Now, your theme might not have this. Uh, my baton theme has this built in. A lot of other themes do as well. But you want to go to the page where you're going to drop in your Easy Digital Downloads uh, checkout shortcode. This is what produces that checkout page. It could be on any page. Um, you know, you just create that in your website. But I have a, a template called landing page. And what we do with the landing page, which is different from the full width page, is the full width will be, you know, full width, edge to edge, but you're still going to get your header and you're still going to get your footer. So people could still get distracted on checkout. With our landing page template, we remove all of that stuff and have just the content area. Um, so that's one advantage of using the baton theme for something like this. Check your theme, check your template files to see, you know, if you have, uh, if you have that option. Um, that's it. Homepage, calls to actions, getting people to go uh, to buy the book right away. There's not a lot of content on this site right now. You know, in the future, we do plan on adding more. Nice little quotes page, some kind of like fun, shareable, markety kind of page will sort of help sort of position uh, your book, your ebook or whatever digital product you might be making. Uh, the buy it page, making something a little bit more rich, not 
you know, not sort of boring um, and bland, uh, really shows off the product, gives some social reinforcement. And that checkout page is distraction f- is distraction free. Last but not least, the um, the contact us page. It's just Ninja Forms, super popular free form. I've talked about that countless times, so people can contact us with any questions. And oh yeah, you'll probably see this down here below. This is again, this isn't a plugin. This is just um, powered by that Drip automation service. Uh, you know, you, you can use Optin Monster, Optin Cat, two plugins I've covered before on this channel. Um, but again, the Drip, uh, this will get people to sign up and send them a free, uh, two free videos that actually show us, you know, recording our, our exact recording setup, you know, the hardware that we're using, plugging into our computers, how we set up our monitors, everything like that is in these two videos. And this little pop-up just follows throughout the site. Uh, but again, that's not a plugin. That's just all powered by a little JavaScript snippet that loads at the top of the page. Uh, that's it. I, you know, that's the fastest way that I can explain setting up a website for selling an ebook. If you're selling an ebook, I'd love to hear your comments below. What are you using? What questions do you have? Uh, and hey, look, if you want to start a podcast yourself or even a YouTube channel like this, check out podcast.win. It's a great way to sort of get those uh, questions that you have uh, about starting something like this answered for you by two people. Uh, so it's like a two for one deal when you buy a book like this. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thumbs up if you like content like this. Thumbs down if you don't. And subscribe if you like WordPress tutorials. Thanks for helping me get to a thousand. Uh, we're trying to go for ten thousand by the end of the year. Thanks everybody.